I'm a reviewer. Let the reviews be joined. Hello once again everyone. This is your friend old Dinobot here with another video review for you. Uh, let me first say again, my previous video I said it was, you know, I've been delayed, you know, had some issues and stuff about putting many videos out. And I've had kind of the same issues again to before this one's coming out. And let me just straight on say I apologize for that. Uh, you know, now is the holiday time period. Uh, we're getting into it at least. Uh, this is actually going up the day before Thanksgiving. So I'll just, right off the bat, I want to say to all you watching, I hope you have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And may you all have a blessed one as well. Uh, be thankful for everything. But, uh, you know, aside from that, you know, I apologize again for not getting any videos out lately. Just some little personal issues and stuff like that. You know, basically the holidays... It matters, you know, money situations and dealing with all kind of stuff like that. But as you can see in this video, uh, we're actually going to take a look. I decided I'm going to take a look at my actually personal favorite. This guy has been one of my favorites, or my favorite actually, for quite a while. I actually, I've had this guy. He he is actually one of the few figures uh, a few years back when long after I got married and uh, had my first daughter uh, that I managed to hold on to this guy when I was having to sell my collection to help you know basically take care of things and everything um, he was one of the few that I actually managed to hold on to to you know from all that but as you can see this is Transformers Generation 2 Laser Rod Optimus Prime a very very cool figure uh, a lot of you know about this this basically character well you know Optimus Prime but you know of this mold he's got uh, he's had several remolds first and foremost everybody knows of him as is uh, from robots in the sky scourge he was basically repainted all black uh, you know is basically that version of him uh, he was also I believe remolded again for a. Uh, I think it came out like an exclusive for e, -ho e hobby. It was a Ultra Magnus, I believe it was, way uh, way back. Actually, I take that back. It wasn't way way back. It was probably like oh five, oh six. I, I want to say oh six more. Is when that come out. Um, and we're also looking forward to in the next year, the basically the year of the goat. Which was this year being the year of this, the uh, year of the horse, you know, with the Optimus Prime and the Star Scream that come out. This one's going to be the year of the goat Optimus Prime. It's going to be using this mold. If you haven't seen the images of that, I do advise you to check it out. Uh, it, it's going to have issues, or at least the, the color scheme they're using for it. Um, but let's just jump right into this one. As you can see, he, Optimus here is a basically supposed to be a model of uh, basically a mid 90s or so uh, truck he's a I believe the if I, I'm double checking my notes here but it's a Western Star uh, 4964 EX truck say that ten times fast uh, but just like, almost just like the new movies that's come out the Bay movies with the long basically the long engine nose or cab whatever you have here and instead of the square around a trailer he has the basically gas tank trailer still a very very cool figure I've like I said before I've always liked this mold actually when this came back out back in 95 I actually managed to pick this up on a clearance sale at the time because I think I think at the time G2 was just like closing off and basically the stores were just trying to get rid of it, get rid of figures and I actually caught this on a clearance sale if I remember right. I did actually have the box and all for this but having two little girls and having this kind of set lower than I meant to be, my youngest actually found it and managed to pull them out in the process she actually pulled the box apart. Uh, but sadly the box was gone, is basically gone. Uh, I still got all this stuff, which we'll get into right now. Um, first and foremost, we'll have to look at it quick, real quick at his tech specs here. Form, uh, really cool. 
different look, outlook on the tech specs for you know the trans this time period which in this one is you basically just folded them open it's basically a card and you got Optimus Prime function leader you got his quote freedom is the right of all sentient beings which is Prime quoted for and you got a pretty good story as to how he became a laser rod basically saying here uh, showdown with Megatron in sector 17 as a Martorian cluster I'm probably saying that name wrong uh, constellation left Optimus severely damaged Entire structure, structural integrity and logistical circuitry processes were programmed into a mm, were programmed into a sleek, stronger, combat-ready figure fig configuration. Now, this ultimate superhero has an arsenal of weaponry ready to appeal and attack and mobilize Megatron once and for all. With Optimus's giant laser target rifle launcher, rapid-fire missile blaster, and armor-piercing disc. Megatron had better think twice before firing the next shot, or it could prove to be his last. And then down here at the bottom, you have his, you know, his stats. Basically, everything is maxed out. All except for his intelligence. And oddly enough, his intelligence is none, which I'm not surprised, surprised that's at that. I think all of it should have been maxed out. But I guess you have to have a little, even with the most powerful guys, you have to have a little, you know, down below. Uh, this bottom part of the card was actually pretty cool. I never did use this, but you can actually you can see back here the little crease on the on the card where you can actually fold it back or fold you know this piece back, and this part of it will fold up to make it basically become a little standy. Uh, I've never wanted to do it because I just I like it this way, but you know that, that's that's more for you. Got an awesome. Uh, illustration or picture back here this is actually what he looked like on the box the image they used which I still wish I had but you have kids you understand also had his little instruction booklet where it's showing off everything he has here which we're going to definitely get into that here just now now before we get into anything I just want to go ahead and show off some of his just some of his weaponry but we'll start here with the trailer which as you can see with the trailer attached and all prime rolls fine even after all these years he still rolls fine no can turn no problem you know back it up everything everything's good for him but we'll start as i said well before we look at prime we'll look, take a look at his trailer so we'll just take prime out of the picture here for just a few moments and then we'll look at his trailer as you can see it's a nice little rendition of a guest basically a gas tank for a trailer. You can see up here this does slide because this is the disc launcher. You can actually use this in this mode too with these discs. It came it comes with five discs. Five really good nice nicely designed discs. You have we'll take a look at one here. You have a real good image on each of them of the Autobot logo from generation two. Really cool. It's just got this little arrow here to basically help point you into the direction you're supposed to insert the discs into the launcher up here which I'll zoom this in and you basically just slide it down in there and you can take all of them and just do the same with I'm doing that one at a time we'll just get the rest of them I don't I'm just doing it this way to make sure I get them all in there straight and you see it fills up real nicely like I said it only can all hold five and it only came with five uh, I won't shoot those off just yet. Well, I'll shoot those off once we get into the next mode here, which is what we're going to show. The uh, this problem actually has a pretty cool little trick to it, though mine doesn't really do it as well because of how old it's been, and probably because he's been sitting basically like this for quite a while. So, and this, what you can do is you uh, actually, I better go ahead and dump these discs out just to be on the safe side because it's going to flip over here in a minute um, this little there's a little switch here at the bottom which activates everything um, no electronics on this one by the way too uh, you can see the bottom before we get it to push the button and everything we'll show you the details nice little detailing down here basically at the bottom of the trailer and everything up here as well but we'll get in all that uh, nice image here on the side 
It's got Ultimus Prime, Octane, with Ultimus basically using his cannon and firing and everything. He's got it on both sides here. Nice little red piping here for the pipes. On the back, you got the tail lights and the uh, license plate. It's all really cool. But let's get to that switch, shall we? What you do with this is you take this piece here, this front part of the trailer, and you're going to pop it loose. Doing so, what you next do, I'm not going to show how well this is going to do it, but we're going to try. It springs, you push the button, it springs open to a degree, as you can see, but you just basically flip it up. I'll slide it back so, and you find, slide this part, these parts just slide down. And this is basically, I'm going to turn this, you can all try to see it better. Try to, you'll bear with me, I'll back the camera up just to here, just so you can get a better image there. And this is the basic battle mode. And I apologize because this is kind of hard to show off on this camera, but um, you have all this here. This side you have a little bay with uh, areas here that you will put, you can put things in, which I'll show again here in a minute. This, as you see here, this is a launcher, a missile launcher to be exact. And it goes with quite a few missiles. It actually holds quite a few missiles at that as well. It actually holds these missiles. Total, it comes with a total of 10 of these missiles, which I do have all 10. But you can take, before we load these in the launcher, I want to show you the position of this. Right in here, I'll try to zoom this in here for you. You see all this area right here. You can actually take several of these missiles and place them here. And, uh, you can take, put five of each, five of them in this area for nice little extra storage space. There's another one there. Place one there. One here. And we'll place one more. And they they peg in really well, really securely. They're not oh, that's gonna go somewhere of course, but not going nowhere. You can actually if you storm like this uh, you can actually have it transform back in this trailer, you know, full trailer mode, and it's good storage for them. Missiles, the rest of them, will just slide in here onto this launcher. Which, as you can see, mine, the bit, I guess the triggers are kind of worn down. I kind of, I'm going to have to, and there goes another one. <laughs> that definitely shows it still works. So, I am not sure how I can keep these things from firing, which I don't know why. I think it's just the triggers and all. So, I'm not going to fully load them in there. I'm going to have to, to give, just to give you an idea, this is basically how they, they'll sit. I have to actually dig those others because they fell over here. I'm actually going to, actually, if you hold on for just a second, I can reach them. I can actually see them. We'll just bear with me just a moment. I'm trying to pop these in place. And I'm going to hold my finger over just in case, just to keep them from going anywhere again. But that's basically how the launcher looks. Um, let's see, I wanna, I'll try to see how well this is gonna look. You can take here at the bottom of the launcher, you have this big, basically point for a ball joint basically is what that is and you pop it in right here on the side of this panel which I'm trying not to there we go I'm hoping that doesn't fire there and you can have your own missile launcher pod there on that side yep there it goes it didn't take long uh, okay, bear with me I'm just going to set this out of the way that way the Get these missiles out of it just so they don't go fire everywhere again I'm gonna keep this set these here put that back there there now we'll go on to this other side of the trailer 
I'll just the missiles so I don't lose them. Before we get into the middle, we'll look at this panel. This side again has nice little detailing in here, like circuitry and stuff in there. You have a couple of things here because you can take one of these missiles, which is this large one, and note you'll notice how that one's kind of bent up. And it's because this one actually I had stored on the launcher and I forgot about it and had it in the trailer and it's been in there a while and it's warped it. Uh, if you guys know of any way I can straighten this out, please feel free to comment below and let me know. I'll definitely try to see what I can do with it, but it's just a small matter. Uh, but I'm just actually going to use this one as the reference here, because if you look here on this side, you can see on this side, you got another little area to store something, which is one of these missiles. You can actually store it like so. You then take this piece here, which is the disc launcher, you can slide up like so, and basically it turns like that. I'm actually... I'll turn this here, and we'll, not only will I demonstrate this, but I'll show you this back part of this as well, where this is the launcher for this missile. You basically can take this, stick it on here. It kind of takes a little, I don't want to say effort, but you got to make sure you line it up right, I believe. It's been a little while since I've done this one. But you slide it down in there. And I don't believe this thing launches too well because it's been so long in the hose. But the launcher for it is actually this right here. It's one of those pump launchers, which it doesn't, I'm trying it now, it doesn't seem like it wants to fire. I'm actually going to turn my own now. There. I apologize for all the shaking and stuff, but let's see. Yeah, it's not really putting the air out, so I'm guessing my hose needs to be replaced there. But you get the idea. You basically would set this in here, stomp down on that, and this launches into the air. Next, we're going to look back at the discs. I'm actually going to try and shoot this to just to show you. I'm only going to fire a couple of them. I'll just load them up. And you basically launch it this back uh, disc this back here is what you, you basically turn it and I will try to you can see there still fires really good but that's basically where you store your disc as well for transfer in transformation and everything one last bit for the the battle station here is Prime's gun which is this here you can take it it's a cool little double barreled blaster. It's got a peg here for prime and it's got another peg here as well. This peg is what you, you're interested in for the tank for the station mode. You want to flip it down a little bit or you don't have to. You can actually put it like that. And there's a little hole. You can see this little gray bit here. You just peg it in right there. And you basically have a turret right here on top. Uh, it's not actually going well. Yeah, it's not holding it up there too well. I need, really need to put some sustainment in there to help hold it in place. But you can use it like that. And use it basically as an anti-aircraft uh, blaster, which I'm not getting in there right there. And you can see, you know, it's a cool little battle station basically. But we'll definitely going to get back into this a little bit more here later because we're going to need Prime's gun again when we get to looking at Prime himself which is what we are about to do I'm just going to load these discs up out of the way so I can just go ahead and get this station out moved move for you so I can we can look at the main part of this figure I'm sorry, just bear with me just a moment there. There we go. Now we're just going to lift this station. Out of the way. And we'll bring in Optimus Prime himself. 
Now, Prime has very nice well detail in here. He's got this like chrome up here in the front. I actually can move the camera back up for this. Should do that to help out. A little bit of chrome here. Looks really good. He's got some very good detail on the sides. You can still kind of, you know, you flip it over, you can still kind of tell there's a robot underneath. He does this part back here that is kind of not really, I won't say loose, but it's kind of just part of the the mold use of it that it's going to show on that no matter what you do. Uh, but still, it's a nice rendition of a truck for Prime. Got some clear in it. You can actually see seats and the steering wheel and everything in there. I don't know how well it's going to come across there on cam, but I'll try to get it to get in there. You can see them fairly well. One other thing that Prime is very good at is he, the Prime himself, has actually has a pretty cool little feature. He has lights. Not sounds, but lights. Which I'm going to try to see. See, yeah. does there. If you push this little panel up here, it actually lights up his headlights. But it does something else, which we'll look at here again here in a moment once we get him transformed. But before we transform him, I want to bring in why he's called Laser Broad Prime. His sword. As you can see, it's just a clear, nice looking sword. Very cool. I always like this design on the sword. But one thing about this sword is, and the whole prime figure, is that he has a lot of storage space. Uh, you can actually take the sword and right back here along the bottom, these little panels back here on the back, basically the back of his feet. Whoops. I actually popped that loose some. Little ratchet joints there. And you can actually just slide that. Well, I had it in there just a minute ago. Am I doing it backwards? No, I'm not. I know I get it. I had it in there. Yeah, that's right. I'm not getting that lined up right. There it goes. Well, I thought I had it. Okay, now. I apologize to China. It's been a while since I've done this one on this figure. He's been on basically sitting on display. I know I'm doing this right. But it does. Oh, that's why. Because he's coming loose. There we go. Yeah, that was why I wasn't doing it. He popped loose a little bit, and it helps, kind of helps hold it on. As you can see, it's up under there. Nice storage space for the sword. No wonder I wasn't getting it on. His legs come unpinned. But that's enough of this. Let's just look at him transformed. We'll just take his sword back off. And the transform prime is very, very simple. Just a few steps, because this is basically from the 90s. Real easy. You grab it you from the bottom, you want to pull down, which you know shows off his legs, pull these apart, and then you pull, pull these, straighten these blue panels out to form his feet. Next step is you, these side panels here, right underneath the doors and stuff, you pull them up and out to show off his arms, and then you pull each side of the front cab or front engine block down to the side and straighten down his arms pull it open this panel and there's the prime head you use this little tab to raise it up you see it kind of slides back and in you flip the panel back you turn prime's head back around and that's it that's all there was to it there you have Optimus Prime transformed into his robot form. Now, a nice, very well, very well articulated form for this time period. Uh, Prime has a lot, in this form, he has a lot of articulation. He can turn his head around, as you saw. He can't look up and do it. He kind of can with that panel. He can kind of have him do like that to look up, look down, you know, but still. Uh, his form, you know, his shoulders here can basically turned to a degree and not full down because of the way the paneling is.
but his forearms can do this, this, his fist, he's got no bending to that, but uh, his waist can turn all the way around. And he's got the ratchet joints here in the legs, or his hips. He's got it in his knee. So you can actually have him stand like posing or something like that, you know, up. You can know, have him kind of crouched if you want to. But he, he has no articulation in his feet. No, just the, you know, swivel there, but that's about it. But we'll straighten the back out some so we can explain it back up. Uh, we're going to go back to two things here. His guns and his sword. You can put either one of these in either fist, but for what I'm going to show, I'm going to show it off in his, basically his right fist. Because if you take it, remember, the, oh, also, he does have light piping up here. You can see it's very, very clear there in his eyes. You can actually see it piping up through really clear right there, which is really nice. Uh, he's got the pipe in here, but it's for this reason, because you can take the peg, that 5mm peg, stick it into his right fist, and if you adjust it and you hold the, push that same button on the back, I don't know how well this is going to come across on camera, but you can see it lights up. Let me try and see if I can do this better. I'm going to flip this one side light off see if it'll do that help that out yeah there it goes a little bit better you can see it not only is it light it lights the side up there but it can light up the front barrels as well and it's still even though you're doing that it does light up the headlights still you know the headlights still come on but it's still a nice little feature add on there you can take the gun off take the sword put it in his right hand and as, no it is just his right hand his left hand doesn't do it but it's not that well I apologize that's not I'm actually let's try this see if this works a little bit better there yeah it does work better lights up really well really nicely and that's basically why it's called a laser rod because at the time period they actually released uh, quite a few laser rod figures. I think both the they had both uh, two two of each Autobots, two Decepticons that they released uh, of that line. And Prime was basically the fifth one. Uh, they did not bring one out of Megatron, which would have been I think would have made it better just to have you know Megatron having a rivalry with Prime, but. Uh, I think I don't I know they do have the G2 Megatron is basically a big green tank I think he does have some light and sounds, but I'm not uh, Sure on everything on him But we'll set We're going to actually want to set prime to the side here for just a moment and I'm going to Pray back in the Battle station because I want to one last thing I want to show off here before I end this video. Oh, I'm going. I'm actually going to take this mess off because I don't want to do the same mistake on that. But if you you can close this up to transform this back, you basically fold this up. As you can see, when you do this, it kind of you have to kind of scrounge the hose in there a little bit to. For the launcher and all, you actually have to slide this down in and up to get fit in there right. And you can, I don't think you can do this without the, but you can stick the missile in there, and which is what I did. See how, if you can see on that, it does kind of, kind of flattens this on this. But you can, if you're willing to do it, you can put the missile in there and store it up that way. Take this launcher off, apply it back onto that little peg hole there slide this back down and we're just going to fold it all back up like so which I don't think I got the launcher in there all the way there it goes and with the disc right there and you just can just fling it up until you hear the click of it catching 
and then just to make sure it all stays stable close that back up we'll just put these discs uh, oops, got that I still got that backwards back in the launcher up here and one other thing you can do because like I said this is really well with storage if this was in there we'll just say this missiles in there with the other one uh, you can take Prime's gun you can actually have this open you can pop this open you can take Prime's gun and just stick it up in there it's not really a meant for storage but you can kind of store it up in there real nicely but we're gonna but that's gonna be it for this video guys I'm just gonna let Prime stand here in front of his trailer and I'll try to zoom this back but this that's my review uh, as I said this is actually my favorite Prime I've always liked this figure I've always liked this mold I, you know when I was a kid I loved it because I loved the articulation and how you could pose them and everything you can still do that uh, like I said the there's been a few remolds of it. The, we got one coming out next year for the year of the goat, where they're using this same mold. The uh, the color scheme they're using on it kind of looks, ugh. but I'll I'll let you on be the judge of that. Just go take a look look up year of the goat Optimus Prime, and you can you'll see the pictures that I mean on that. Uh, what I recommend this guy absolutely. Uh, if you're a prime collector, this is definitely one you would want to have. Uh, something, as I said before, if this, the, you know, the ro robots in disguise are car robots. They brought a scourge with the same mold. Uh, you can actually have him use him as a nemesis prime, basically. Uh, one thing I would like to see, I would like to see this guy redone some more. You know, let him come back out more articulated fingers. You know, basically, I don't want to say basically like almost in like a masterpiece form. I think this guy would revel in. I mean, I think he would look so awesome, masterpiece style. But you're almost looking like a uh, Bay former or Michael Bay version of Optimus Prime in that sense. But we never know. Uh, one last thing, size wise, I wanted to do this with him being a robot form now. I'm just going to move the trailer again one more time out of the way. I'm actually going to bring him in with a few size comparisons. Uh, we're going to set him back, and I'm going to we're going to bring in Reveal the Shield Prime G2 Laser Prime. If you see my review of this guy, I actually brought this Prime in as well. It's a little bit of size comparison on that. Uh, we're talking about Bay movies. Here is Invasion Mode Voyager class Prime. So he's he scales basically to a Voyager in size. Uh, I got just a couple more I want to bring in. Here is Power Master, G1 Power Master Prime. And last but certainly not least, we can't compare this guy without bringing in a master, or well basically a masterpiece version of him with the MP. Or you're the horse version of MP10, which he does still scale really well with them. Uh, the as I said with the Year of the Goat version, I am I'm not looking forward to the color scheme, but I may still end up getting them anyway because I've always liked this mold and I'm a Prime fan as it is. But guys, that's going to be on that note. I'm just going to end this video here, and I want to say uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and as always, please feel free to like, share, and comment below on this video. Let me know what you think of this Prime and all these others. Uh, I hope, I do hope you get a lot of this, like as I have, of this Prime if you decide to get him. Uh, if you haven't done so already, guys, please subscribe to my channel. And this is Dama saying thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you guys soon.